universities in the world. I offered me our lower university. <laughs> That's where I went to. And of course, um, I'm a comedian and also a lawyer. I I studied law in Wafemi Aulo University. Um, uh, what else? I'm, I'm just a normal guy. I know how to cook very well. I love food. Dad, I love food. Wow. God! So I know how to cook. Mm. Because when we were growing up that time, food did not reach us. So <laughs> I used to follow mom inside the kitchen so that I can thief small out of the food as they are cooking it. <laughs> so, <laughs> the food this is an inbuilt something. Uh, well, comedy, I think it's my parents that gave it to me. My mm. two, my, my mom and dad, they're extremely funny. They're extremely funny wow. people. And um, so not only my mom and dad, I think, I think Nigerians generally, Nigerians are extremely funny. Um, I've met so many funny people in my life. I, 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 God strategically placed me in a point where all through my life, ev every single time, there's someone who is an hilarious person around me. When I was growing up, it was it was my neighbors in the next in the next building, them Buradayo, Burabuni, and Co. And comedy has just always been something that I that I saw that no matter how poor or rich someone is, it has the tendency to bring everyone together. It has the tendency to make everybody listen. So if you want to send a message to somebody and you say it in a comical way, even if it's a very serious message, the person would listen more because it's, the person would not even know when you have said the message you want to say because of how comedy is. It's a very, very, very uh, unique gift. So I did everything possible to learn what it was about, what what made people that were funny, funny, what made them make other people laugh. So I'm still doing that. And uh, hopefully I'll become one of the best comedians in the world as ever seen, by the grace of God. We are we are waiting for you. We can't wait for you. You're gonna be there very soon. <laughs> by the so, grace uh, of God. I, 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 I wanna ask, is there any way that your uh, your academic background your uh, has helped your comedy in any oh, way? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, First and foremost, because every time that people see me outside and they hear me speaking English, they're always confused. If you check your comments now, so if everybody's just saying, ah, so you can speak English, so you can speak English, uh -uh. is that English I'll be speaking, all that, right? So first and foremost, when I when I I um, say something, people are always shocked and they're like, ah, where did they go on? Also, um, because I studied, they helped me understand what planning is all about and how you need to be strategic with whatever it is that you're doing. So from day one, I've been as strategic as possible and as intentional as possible, especially when it comes to um, being politically correct. I try as much as I can to be politically correct because a lawyer is someone that understands that you need to know something about everything and everything about something. So I try as much as possible to know something about everything. So when you know something about everything, it's easy for you to crack jokes about almost every topic all around. So um, what my profession allowed me to do is it allowed me to be a lot more level-headed because me, I used to be this very <laughs> angry person growing up. I used to be very angry. I used to be ex <laughs> So I think it's that anger that I now transferred into my comedy. God knows what it is. <laughs> but then my, my profession has been very helpful because it helped me, it helped me, um, uh, it helped me, understand my craft better hmm. helps hmm. me understand my craft better yeah then i don't think i want to add i like the fact that you said it helps you to understand everything and to know the law to help you know yeah. your, your your boundaries yes and be you know, politically you know. correct yeah, yeah so that you don't go out to uh, yeah the it's wrong important, side of it's the important law. in whatever one's one does to understand that you're, you're speaking to the entire world if you want to you want the entire world to see you want the whole world to see what you've got to do then obviously you need to you need to say something that um not necessarily wouldn't upset people because you can't please everybody but you need to understand that whatever it is that you're doing um the greater amount of people is is is, is going to do a greater good to the greater amount of people yeah that's the word wow that, that was great that was great yeah. i want to ask another thing is it is it possible that uh i'm looking at you looking at our experience a lot is it possible that someone that never went to school can also be successful in comedy 
Uh uh. In fact, it's one of the things I say nowadays. Anybody who has who has spoken to me recently would say I've said it that school is a scam. It's a very huge scam. Yes, because I, I went to school, it favored me. So many people have gone to school, it favored them. But I feel like you have misplaced a lot of things with regards to schooling. There's a lot of things that need to be reorganized, that need to be re there's there's a lot of re-strategizing that needs to go into schooling. People need to understand that the professions of the past are not necessarily the professions of now. If I have I have if um a thousand people, if we do a if we do a a uh, poll now, survey. if a thousand people a survey, thank you. If a thousand people have graduated from, from one particular university or the other in Nigeria today, I can guarantee you that at least half, at least half have absolutely nothing to do with this, the, the, the studies that they that they went for in school. And it is majorly because school does not even give enough opportunity for what people want to do. People are going into school nowadays, especially higher institutions, and they are confused because what they want to do is not in school. When I wanted to, when I wanted to go to uni, I didn't want to study what was I mean law. I didn't want to study English. Even though theater arts was there, I didn't want to do theater arts. I was not, my body was not with theater arts because I know I do more than acting. I'm not just an actor. But there was no course that I could do in school that could actually um, teach me a lot more of what I wanted to know, what I wanted to do, which is the arts, which is entertainment, which is um, comedy. So there are lots more, there's, there's a lot more courses that can be taught in school that, that is more, um more uh, project driven, more now? entrepreneurial driven. Like, driven, yes, 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 absolutely. So I feel like so absolutely so one can very well not go to school and still become a very great comedian, a great entertainer. In fact, you can do anything you want. If 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 anything, mm -hmm. the internet has eradicated the usefulness of school. Whatever it is you want to learn in this world, you can learn it on the internet. Whatever it is, wow. I, I don't care what it is you want to learn. So in, wow. in, in the past 20, 30 years, we've seen a, a lot of astronomical change going on in the world. It's because of the internet. It has, it has opened people's eyes. Do you understand? Mm. People have seen that they can do this without necessarily spending. Do you get? So I think school is still extremely important. It just really needs to be structured. They need to learn to teach children to choose a profession that they love to do, not a profession that their parents want them to do. Mm. Yeah, so so people need to school needs to teach people to find out what they love to do and what they know how to do. I don't think school does that very well now. They just mm. they grade people based on maths, English, maths, to me, official anything to me, low maths, I maths, my budget, the Y, the X. I swear to God, if I see if I see that man that teach me that teach me maths, I, yes, yes, I, 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 I love people him. have been have been so bad because probably they didn't do well in school, not knowing that. Yeah, really not really not important. It has nothing it to do with. Not it has nothing it has to do with, nothing. With, with with what you're doing. It has nothing. nothing to do. With. Go to go to mm. TikTok. Go to TikTok. There are a lot of young ones that the, 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 there is no profession they are doing. Do you understand? But they, mm. they realize that they are doing something. They put it out on the internet. When you do something and you show the world, if you. Have Oh, Lulu. Some people dance. Look at Pokoli. Pokoli dances. There are so many people with so, so many professions that were not even ex they were not in existence 10 years ago, five years ago. So I feel like many of these things, people need to know them. The world has changed, and, and whoever does not change with the world, in fact, well, like, the one uh, be, you'll be pointing uh, at, at television in, in like some years. Some of these skills. Can you tell us some of these skills that people can actually learn online that can help them make some money? Some of these skills, ah. like, like, like one, the skills. Then second, the platform. Like, talk about TikTok. Uh, yeah. What are what are the skills that you think can help people make money, and the kind of platform they can put it on? Can you tell Every us? Every platform. So, so there is a lot of platforms now. There's a lot of platforms in existence now in in the entire world. There's a lot. There's TikTok. There's Facebook. There's there's Twitter, there's, there's people who are making money from being just influencers on any of these platforms. There is no platform where you, can, where you can't influence and make money. But it is not the money part that is important. It's what you can do, go, go. There is nothing, there is nothing that as, as, as important as what can you do. Before you think about making money, do you understand? If you can do something and you're exceptional at it, Sherry, in this world, 
every single person can do something differently. I cannot do skits the way Tauma would do skits. Do you understand? I cannot do skit the way Barashagi would do skits. I cannot do skits the way Macaroni would do skits. Neither can I do it the way Sydney would do it. If you look at all people who do skits um, in Nigeria, who do music all around, do you know how many musicians are in the world? Yet every single person, their voice is different from the other. So it means that whatever it is that you are doing, you are different from the next person. <laughs> Nobody can do it like you. You can't do it like another person. So you need to first find what it is that you can do. That money part, that money will come. Money will come. <laughs> so basically, we have to give value. Yeah, when, value when, is when you most create content thing. that is giving value, you yeah, eventually money will come. Wow, wow. Money will come. Wow. If money is important thing, then you are putting the cart before the horse. Mm. Yes. I want to ask here, uh, by start, do you still practice?
a, there is a unique thing in every it's single It's person. amazing, amazing. So you need to find your pivot. That pivot is going to help you do every other thing that you want to do. That's all. Okay, uh, good one. Uh, we we'll, we'll enjoy you. This is really amazing. This is really Thank amazing. You. I, was, I was thinking, that, is there any way, like people that are looking up to, to go into comedy, okay? Uh, you know, for us, you know, we, if you want to go into comedy, you want to do anything, the end point is to give value. And when yes. you give value, to be able to earn money for a good living. That's the essence of giving value for us. So, so uh, do you think uh, you have advice? Because I can bet you, you see that you have a lot of people that are looking up to you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Light up going, Nigeria. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. So, I see there. I'm um, a. Hey. Um, let me get them to put on the generator. Yeah. Uh, can I can I join back in a bit, please? Okay, then please do, please okay. do, please do. Thank you. So we these are things that remind us that we're in Africa, but that's fine. That's fine. But that's fine. So it's gonna come back. Uh, if you see the way his sound is very focused, you see that he is very articulate. That's the essence of education. Education gives you a, a good background to package yourself or anything. And that's why I still think you should add. Uh, it's not compulsory that you have a formal education, but have some kind of education. It could be it could be learning things on LinkedIn or whatever, or do online programs. But just expose yourself to information that will help you deliver whatever you're doing is very, very key. Not only about just uh, uh, wanting to drive your passion. Passion is good, doing what you love is good, but it's always a framework that helps you get things pro done properly. Uh, there's always a framework, there's always a pattern, there's always a, a, a lead, there's always a guide for everything that you're doing. Uh, you have to do things within those frameworks so that you are successful. And one of the things that education does is to put it in those kind of good framework. The way you speak, the way you present, the way you do your thing, the way you write, uh, what are the, the way you set up a company, the structure you put. Now, comedy are becoming a, a good business in Nigeria. A lot of people are doing so. One, they make us laugh. We get, we get, we get excited, and they also make money. Those are value they, that they give, and a lot of people now are really doing that. Uh, we need to encourage more younger people to come into comedy. If you have passion for comedy, this is an opportunity for you to learn, to learn from the very best. We go out to look for the very best people like MC Lively, with a, with, is, a, is a barrister, is a lawyer by background, but he has decided to question the comedy and he's doing fantastically well right now. So it means that it's a career that all of us can learn, but at the same time, it's good to have some kind of education. But even though you don't have education, you can learn a lot of things on LinkedIn. It doesn't have to be in the power of schools, but you can learn a lot of things on LinkedIn. Just expose yourself to learning, uh, educate yourself with a lot of things on LinkedIn, online, everywhere. Uh, on YouTube, on there are so many ways we can learn things. Go on YouTube. There's there's LinkedIn. Um, what do you, uh, LinkedIn post where you can learn a lot of things. So the, uh, the same thing. Go to YouTube. There's a lot of things you can learn. So we should expose ourselves to learning. It's not necessarily have to be the, in the framework. The good thing right now, why we have to expose ourselves to personal learning, is because the world is changing fast. The world is moving fast, and even those things that we know is changing fast. Those things uh, that we know is um, we uh change it, change it so far that you can think uh sometimes you say that electricity cannot be created unless of this but uh right right now even me in my house i create electricity without anything so a lot of things are changing so fast uh because so we have to move with the trend we have to tap into the trend things are changing so fast so how do you tap into this trend how do you think about the, the, the changes that are happening it's just by learning as well as ourselves to learning new things so Let's get our barista on board. Let's get our barista on board. This guy is just down to earth. He just playing and these are the kind of people we need. These are the kind of people we need to motivate our younger people. People who have a straight way uh, and they are doing things, making us proud all over. I see him going places. I see him going all over Africa and all of that. So as we're saying, barista, yes, sir. Yes, sir. what do you think uh, our younger generation, those people that are looking up to you, what are the basic things you think they can uh, uh, do or practice that can help them successful in, in the comedy, in their career right now? 
who want to in go any in career in any in be it comedy or okay i i don't even mind talking about comedy particularly i think one of the most important things any young person that's doing comedy is supposed to learn is don't compare yourself with anybody whatsoever anybody there is no bigger recipe for disaster than comparing yourself to people i know this for a fact because i've done it it is easy to do it and it's easy to say don't do it or i will not do it but it's a trap that many people fall into very, very quickly, very, very quickly. So what it does is it's, it's, um, it removes from your ability as a person. So instead of you to judge yourself against yourself, you judge yourself against other people and it doesn't let you grow. So it's only when you judge yourself against yourself, that's when you grow. If you continue judging other people, then you, you would never be, um, you will never be good in your own eyes. Hmm. Uh, it's just um, nice. Said it very well. One of the songs. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm wishing I'm wishing sorry. I'm wishing sorry. What is it like technically? That? You're looking at another person's us to determine yeah, your own speed. Exactly. So, so you you so are. That's one yeah. one very key thing. Then mm -hmm. also you need to find your comedic voice. Um, people have different comedic voices. Um, some people some people. I don't know what it is for for everybody, but maybe everybody needs to find their own style. Their own there, style. there is a style. You have a style. You have a unique style. Yeah. You have a unique style. You can line up. Like some people, they carry back around. around. That's their style. They carry back around. <laughs> you know, everybody have a style. Why are you laughing now? <laughs> Why say it differently? Yes. Maybe, maybe some people, some people they carry back. Carry back. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> so you need to find your style. Then don't compare yourself to any other person whatever it is that you're doing um, wow um also it takes time it takes time. okay thank you um, thank you so so much i will ask you two last questions the, the, all right sir. this first one is can you tell us a way that people can monetize their comedy skills how do you monetize it how do you make money from making comedy so people think they just throwing throwing the content there because they like the whole world but how do you eventually uh make some money from it and that can help you grow because when you're doing anything and there's no money making you can't grow you, you in fact you would even be you'll be you'll be desolate you'll feel very bad if yes. you don't have money you'll be depressed that's the so what are the po possible way we can make money from being so, a, comedy, a comedian um to monetize is not it's not all that um difficult because it's 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 really simple if you have people on your page it is value for value if you have people who come to your to your um your page your platform regularly to consume your content then you can very easily just um tell a brand that i can advertise this for you and these people will watch it and they'll see it it's basically adverts that's that's one of the ways to make money then also um it depends on how you, skilled. Well, other platform like YouTube and God, of course, YouTube is that's the number one making, that's okay. the number one money making app. But it, one has to be strategic with it too, okay? Because if if you're going to put content on YouTube, there is is a certain number of hours that you need to put before you start making money from it. There's a certain number of minutes that you need to put for you to make money consistently. So it means that. You need to do the short videos, you need to do the long videos. You can't just say, Oh, I want to make money, then you're gonna go and do only long videos, especially when you're starting out. When you're starting out, make short videos, make long videos. Um, so you make videos for for various platforms. Um, so just being dynamic, basically. The the money part, once you've 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 been able to gather your fans, gather your crowd. It's easy for you to now negotiate with whoever okay. it is you want to negotiate with and say, I can advertise this for you. Okay, thank thank you so much. Now yes, this, is, this is my last question to you. Uh, how do you think we can take Nigeria entertainment industry, comedy industry, film industry generally to the wall? What are what are possible ways ah. you can take it we've to already, the wall? We've already started. Though. We've already started. I saw it. So how can we take it more to the world? We are already doing it. So it's a process. It's a process. We are not where we were ten years ago. We are not where we were five years ago. I saw a video on Twitter today of um, Ikorodu boys 
on a Netflix a Netflix banner in in the US. I, I think it was Times Square or something. Like Ikorodu boys who do skits normally. Are you serious? Ikorodu boys, yes. Their, their, their video was on was on was in Times Square on a, wow. a very huge billboard, an electronic board. That's that's wow. That's already Nigeria to the world. Um, what I like to use as a point of contact is the music industry. About 10 years ago, the music industry was, was still asking, uh, how are we going to connect to the world? How are we going to connect to the world? It, now we are having collaborations with foreign artists and it is like water. <laughs> 10 years ago, it was it was a dream that we felt like it was so far. But now it's like it's like water. We have lots of collaborations with, with artists. People are listening to Nigerian songs like like just normally. So it's the same thing for the comedy and the film industry. I think it's growing. It has already started growing. A lot more people outside Nigeria. Thank you so so Nigeria much. Are, 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 they're, they're watching. Thank they're you. Watching. Thank you so so much. Uh, so Barista, you thank you so much for your time. You quickly look at uh, the question box and pick three question and answer. From our There's a question box. Yes, that's uh, ah, why is that one? I don't know where that one is. So. Uh, you see any question on the? Uh, just check the screen. Any question? Okay. Okay. The comments, the question, go ahead and ask your question. Uh -huh, it's open. Ask your about. question right away. It's open. Go ahead and ask your question. Go ahead and ask your question. See, someone just said already we have two Grammy Award winners. See, like a, a few years ago, it seemed like something that was impossible. People are hailing you from Dubai, from Turkey, from UK. Uh, oh, guys, exactly. you get global fan. See, do you see what we're talking you about? You get global fan. I'm proud of you. you. See what we're talking about? There are so many people who uh, are already watching. Okay, we have the question. So, what is it? What motivates you? What motivates you? What's my biggest motivation? Mm. Ah, laughter. Huh? Eh? Laughter. laughter i love to laugh <laughs> I, love to, I love to make people laugh. Hey, so, so there's nothing that gives me motivation yeah, you can read it yourself <laughs> there's nothing yeah, that gives me like more question. motivation than making people laugh mm, yeah so motivation someone says what was your most challenging moment hey mm. hey this was when i was in 500 level of family all university that's when i decided that i was going to try comedy um hmm. i was a very serious student in school very serious uh, i was a politician too so comedy was not a thing that i did then 100 level 200 level 300 level 400 level when i was in 500 level guys quarter to leave school that's when i started um doing stand-up and i failed terribly they booed me off stage several times about four times you know you <laughs> like four times they booed me off there was one time wow. in amphitheater, they, even, they stoned me what wow. I to and all these things in, in, Af in amphitheater. And mm. at, at that point, I think that was that was the um, most challenging moment because that was when I, I wasn't sure if I could last. I wasn't sure if I could do it professionally, even though I made a few people laugh. I wasn't sure if I could make the, the world laugh. But mm. I had a, lot, a couple of friends, very, very few. Ask your question. Go ahead and ask your question. Go ahead and ask your question. Can you hear me? The yes, bystander is open. Ask kept, your question. I kept driving me. A friend of mine, MC Eddie, so he, he kept pushing me. Said, "I can do this. I can do this. I can do this." And uh, of course, thank God that God is God. Hmm. So I, I didn't give up. That, that and, is uh, amazing. Thank God. So bystander, we have more question. You can pick one more question. Someone Ask says, question. how many people have you trained so far? I don't know about training or no training. This is, this is talk of the olden days. I impact knowledge wherever I go, to whoever I meet. Mm. So if there are a lot of people who have worked with me. There are a lot of people who have worked with, a lot of people who, yeah. who, whoever it is, whoever I meet. Some people are appreciating you that they are hearing your real voice for the first time. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> they are hearing your new voice. You are the that they are used to the comedy. That they are hearing you. That's amazing. That means, uh, barista, we appreciate you. MC Lajie, like we son. appreciate you so much, and we yeah. love you. We thank you for your time. You've done well, and you educate our audience. I'm glad they they are happy too. So we look forward to uh, engaging with you more to learn more Absolutely. about you. I wish you all the best in your future endeavor. Thank, thank you so much. 
Thank you. For the people that are asking for London show, London show soon. <laughs> Trust me, London show soon. I got you. <laughs> thank you very yeah. much for yeah, bye. thank you very much for having me. Um yeah. I love you all, people who love me. Thank you very much. Bye, sir. Yeah, bye. Thank you. So we have MC Lala in the house, and it's quite amazing. We thank you for you guys that come to share him up, and I'm sure you've learned one or two things. Comedy could be a good business, it could be a sustainable business. Uh, it's just to be creative about what you're doing. You don't need to copy someone else. You can have your own style. And you can decide to take it anywhere, globally and anywhere. And you can do film acting, you can do producing. So it's all about trying to be creative, have your originality and give your value out there. And I'm sure a lot of people will engage with you. And when you are giving much value, you make a lot of money from different angles, from branding, promotion, from acting, from all over, all over the world. Just keep doing, keep it, keep doing making it real and keep being hard working you need education if you don't want a formal education it's not compulsory to have a formal education there are online things you can do online courses that you can do to help yourself grow it's good to keep uh, uh helping yourself to grow because the world is changing so fast the more you can educate yourself the better for you because things are changing those things that we are taught are changing so fast so we need to keep growing thank you guys and drop your comment dm me if you have any input any information we're glad. Thanks for coming. See you on Thursday again. Bye.